Hi guys, James here. Welcome to To Boldly Goes Model Works. It's an inbox review, and we have an inbox review for you. It's Tamiya's 148 scale German tanks tank destroyer, Marder 3, in 148 scale, military miniature series number 60. So this kit's quite it's quite a rare one to get actually. So Let's take a moment and sit down so we've got a bit of glare on the on the screen. So let's look around the box. Um, copyright 2008. One of the colour schemes on that side. And possibly two colour schemes on that side. It does say state on the front it's got four colour schemes. And that's the other side. So it says item three two five five six zero. Now get the box open and have a look at the sprues. So we'll find some space for the sprues here. Now first one we're going to open up is this frame B which has the pesky uh, polycaps in the bag now obviously has most of the lower hull has the wheels the base and the upper hull compartment again nice little detail showing the arm the um, rounds for the uh, pack 38 I think is just check no sorry correction pack 36 anti-tank gun um, yeah fairly straightforward on that Again, 2008 on the sprue. I mean, this this is a fairly uh, straightforward build. Building up the lower hull, etc. So that's sprue B. I've lost the bag. Never mind. I put it in the box. And then this one is Sprue D. Again, we have the uh, Pack 38, Pack 36, the which is the anti-tank weapon of choice. Again, separate muscle break and breach parts to it so obviously glue them together leave it and then clean up the seams obviously the shielding and the mechanisms for the the mounts gun mount again take your time and this is the R sprue I'm not sure if this is the same as the um, Marda 3M that I built because I did build that quite a while back so obviously with that you had a different you had a different uh, different looking beastie no I won't put it in put them, I, won't, I won't put them back in the bag I don't know what's it and this is uh, frame C, which has all the tools and the greebies and, and the figure. It's a full figure this time. Um, 
and it has all, all your various bits and pieces on it. So your exhaust, um, towing hooks, muscle, um, muscle lock, um, the what's it clean, the pipes, the uh, what's it for cleaning the pipes, for cleaning the cannon, cannon rods, that's, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, all, all the little bits and pieces here. Jack, Jack block. Very nice. Uh, the executed framing there. End of the exhaust there. So it's obviously printed off separately. Pressed off separately. Very nice it is too. And then hopefully finally it'll be the A sprue. Again with more poly caps here. So this has the uh, small poly caps and it has the link and length tracks. Again, relatively straightforward. The wheels are nicely moulded, main road wheels and sprocket, dry sprocket and the return roller. Little no tech lamp, obviously the uh, periscopes, machine gun and seat. This one, it's got the P sprue here, so it's got di a different all, different versions there. Has the bits for the mounting the weight in the the hull. Again, that's the same on this sprue. So obviously they planned this kit out with a lot of uh, different options, shall we say, because there's uh, the uh, Marder 3M I built and the Hetzer which I did a bo inbox review of and th the 38T Panzer Kampfwagen and obviously in the box I just show you there because I'm not going to get them out is the ballast weight and we'll get all this lot lost out and we've got a nice uh, bookmark there and the decals which won't get them out as you can see different names on there and on that one we've got uh, all the different tank tanks that are available at the time Yeah. So there's the instructions. Obviously, you can pause it there to read that if you can, if you can read that. Um, so basically, say so it was a check created. Uh, after the annexation of Germany, Germany annexed annexed Czechoslovakia in 1939, as we as as is well known. Um, it has the basically a 38T chassis. And the slightly different obviously the different types of different gun. So obviously we have different versions. Basically, Russia 1942, Russia 1944, Africa 1942, and Russia 1942. Different color schemes there. So 
let's get into the build. Lower hull, builds up fairly straightforwardly. Obviously put the mounts on, build up the bases, put the weights in, glue them on, then put on the return rollers and a spacer for the drive sprocket and the idler wheels, build them up. Obviously the wheels, fairly straightforward. Fortunately there's a lot less wheels on one of these than there is on some of the other kits I've built. <laughs> That's why I like the 38T chassis because it's, uh, it's simple. Building up the tracks, that direction, obviously, and 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 the built the sequence. So, obviously, start at number one, build them up up round the the uh, drive sprocket, down, and then back round the idler. And the, this, obviously, these this one tends to go together quite well. It's straightforward, fairly straightforward. And then uh, this bit, there is a smoke shell case. I'm putting on the uh, the hooks. Obviously, putting up on the upper hull there. Again, making sure the machine gun's glued in. Fortunately, I did note note on the instructions. You've got two of them. Um, again, building up at the front of the upper hull, and all the detail. There's a no tech light. Yeah, gun cleaning rod. There we go. They stated you what that bit was in the in the instructions. Again, including the poly cap. Put on putting on a pickaxe. Build a napper jack, an exhaust, and they call that a grouser box. I don't think they kept grouse on the on the tanks, but on on these uh, tank destroyers, but they might have done if they were hungry. Um, fitting the exhaust and putting on some of the tools in place. Putting on the side skirts for the um, gunning platform. Again, it's hinged. Put on the front armour. And then we go on to the back page. Which again, fitting up the basket on the back thing so you can put uh, jerry cans or some other wonderful thing in there. You put the seat backs in place. Obviously you've got options here. For, you've got a folded option here. Putting the aerials up, the um, supports up for the Top tarp, I think it's a top tarpaulin cover that's, that that thing has on it. Obviously, gun, gun travel lock. And then we're building up the gun. So that again, glue these bits off, bits on at the very beginning. And you won't have, won't have any trouble with the, uh, the gun barrel to clean up, um, as Nigel says. But uh, yeah, I have. But I, I have done it like that. It does. It, it does work. So a little bit of planning ahead. Obviously building up the carriage, the greeblies. Obviously not gluing that bit on, so you can tilt it up. 
you fit in all the bits here. Again, making sure the uh, attaching the armor plate, fitting the periscopes into place, noting the angle of attack of the on the uh, front armor plate, fitting the side armor again, fitting the periscopes, fitting the framework, and the other bits of armor as we go along on 20 and then on 21 fitting the gun and then there's the pickup figure option he's in the he's, he's winter suit so I think he's only available he's only optional for one of the uh, ver versions so here we have the camo options. So that's the winter camo. So that's white over German grey. That's obviously dark green, red brown and dark yellow so it's a tricolor camo that's quite a funky one that one that one's got the name as well and this one's the uh, Af Africa core so was that said North Africa 1942 so essentially it has Desert yellow over well, desert yellow with little um, German grey scratches on. Again, another Russian one doing it, doing it in German grey. So you've got a fair few options there, and obviously a few of the greebies that are are available for the set. I have got the jerry can set, but I won't do a review of it because it's a bit incomplete. Um, that. Obviously has the painting advice there. So that's it. That's a review, quick review of the German tank destroyer Marder 3 in 148 scale by Tamiya. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.